Welcome to the Florida Courts eFiling Portal. This video is going to give you a quick look at the correction queue. When you log into the portal, if you have any alerts that are pending, it will take you right to the My Alerts page and show you the alerts that you need to take care of or resolve before you will land at your designated home page. This alert right here shows you that this submission was moved to the correction queue because one of the documents in the submission was corrupt. In order to correct this, you would need to go to the correction queue for this submission. To do so, click on the filing number link. This will take you to the correction queue and you can see here you're on the correction queue filing path on the case information page so you can correct anything that you need to within this submission. Since it was a corrupt document, you will need to replace the document you submitted with a new document that is not corrupt. The first page you come to is the case information page. Since you'll be filing to the same case number, you do not need to do anything with this case. If, however, you had submitted a document to the wrong county, you could change this submission to the correct county by clicking on the county dropdown and making that change. For this, however, we're only going to be changing the document since it was a corrupt document. The next page you can come to is your case parties page. Again, since this probably will not change since our instructions from the county was that the document was corrupt, we will move on to the documents page. Here is where you can replace this corrupt document with a document that is not corrupt. If you replace the document, you will maintain the official file stamp date and time of which this corrupt document was submitted. If you delete this document and replace it with a new document, then it will take on today's date and time. So we will simply replace by clicking on this link and we will choose what it is and browse out and we will find our new document. We'll go to our test documents and we will choose a PDFA document. Click on open and it will take that document, upload the document. When you click on save, it will replace the document with the new document that you created that is not corrupt. Once you see the file size, you're free to move on. So we would click on Next. That takes us to the eService page, where again we can add attorneys if we need to, or make any changes to the service list. We click on Next again, which takes us to the Review and Submit page. If everything looks right, you may go ahead and submit the document now. That will remove it from the correction queue. You have replaced the corrupt document with the same document that is not corrupt. Since you replaced, you maintained the official file stamp date and time of the original document that was submitted. It is now removed from your My Alerts tab and you're ready to move on.